Um, so three years ago, I was put into a group chat with a girl named Lauren, and I was told, this is your co-leader for the year, and that was it. Um, and that was how we met. And the same year, I met Joshua Perry, and at Rafford, I was privileged to have a front row, front row view of their friendship and was delighted to later receive a first-hand photo of when they became official. Um, and in the time that I've known them, I have been honored to get to know Josh as a surrogate older brother to pick at. And I have been honored to make that girl from our group chat my best friend and person. So here's to my platonic soulmate and her soulmate. I love you both so much. You guys, you guys deserve it. Um, so for me, I've, I've, for, I've been fortunate enough to, to know you guys for a couple years now. And, um, man, it's, it's just been so rewarding. Um, really just to, to get to see you both grow as, as individuals, but you know, also as a couple. Um, it, it's been so beautiful just to see you guys flourish. Um, you know, I, was, I was trying to think about what to say. And um, you know, there, there's just so much that I could say. Um, but you know, it's, it's just been, um, you know, I remember you know, having those conversations in our apartment in Radford talking to Josh, just, you know, struggling to figure out how you were going to ask Lauren to, to go out on a first date and, you know, even to, to, to go in and picking up the engagement ring and, and really just having that experience with you, man. It was just, um, it was beautiful. And, um, you know, like, like Mike said, we're praying for you. We know who runs the, runs the roost in here and uh, it's definitely not Josh, but... Um, <laughs> The night uh, he FaceTimed me and he said, "Like, dude, I'm about to propose to her, man. I'm so nervous." Um, he was just so worried about the logistics, about making sure it was right, making sure it was perfect, um, just because he cares about her that much. He loves her that much, and I think that just speaks volumes about who he is as a man. So, um, congrats to both of you guys. Praying for the best for you all. Um, a nice, happy marriage, long marriage, all that great stuff. So, toast to the bride and the groom. We are gathered here not to witness the beginning of what will be, but rather what already is. We are not here to create a marriage because we cannot. We can and do, however, celebrate with Josh and Lauren the wondrous and joyful occurrence that has already begun in their lives. I do proclaim that they are husband and wife in the sight of God and man, and let the people here and everywhere recognize and respect this holy union, now and forever. Amen. And more often than not, the doves will be facing each other. I'm proud of who both of you guys are becoming, not only in your academic life, but also in your relationship life. I can't wait to see where life takes you. And oh yeah, Josh, she's your problem now, buddy. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Well, no, congratulations to you guys. Uh, again, another lovely life to start living. Uh, we pray for you guys daily. If you need anything, call your dad. Um, I'm just kidding. We're here for you, whatever you need, and uh, congratulations again. Can we toast them? <laughs> <laughs>